All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is Maddie here from Chill TCG. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Grand Finals match from the Season Ender Chill Series number 20. We got uh, Angel Oranabar playing Picaram versus Gabe Shumway playing Mad Party. Now, both of these players know, uh, you know, they're, uh, they got experience here uh, in, in the Grand Finals of our Chill Series tournaments. Angel Oranabar is actually a champion. Gabe Shumway made it to the finals a little while back playing Decidueye Goons, and he is... Uh, you know, he's both of these players are really great players, so I'm excited to watch this matchup. It's not a matchup that I get to see a lot personally, so we're going to be watching it from the perspective of Gabe here. He is going to be playing Mad Party. So let's get right into it, guys. Uh, he's going to be uh, starting off with Bunnelby. He does have the Mew down on the bench, uh, but you know what? A lot of times it's not smart for Pikaram to just go ahead and, and load up the peak for a, uh, you know, for a... <laughs> A tag bolt GX there. It's oftentimes not that smart, right? You want to split energies. You want to kind of conserve your resources. So, you know, get, you know, Gabe probably won't always need that Mew. Um, it might not be something that he's probably going to need. But you know what? It's better safe than sorry. You might as well get it down. And you don't want to get donked anyway, right? Uh, this starting hand for Gabe is not ideal, though. We have two Poltegeists and two Mr. Rhymes with a Giovanni's Exile. And he does have that twin energy. Not something that you want to see here. He definitely needs to top deck something good. And, uh, you know, I don't have too much experience with Mad Party, but I do know those Poltegeists are extremely, extremely important. Um, and, and starting your hand like this isn't great because you don't want to discard two of them right off the bat. It's not going to be good for uh, for Gabe. So he's going to switch out into the Mew. Uh, and Angel here, we're going to see a, uh Electromagnetic Radar after he puts down Tabu Coco, puts down Peak, um, puts the Lightning Energy down on Peak. And he does start with Choo Choo, which honestly isn't great uh, for uh, Angel there. You know, he doesn't want to get both of these three prizers down on the bench early on. Uh, you know, this... This means that Gabe, you know, has everything on the board he needs to get uh, the six prizes. And Mad Party can one-shot everything on uh, on Angel's board right now. So we'll see. We're going to see a quick ball from him. Gets rid of uh, the boss's orders. He's got three cards in hand now, and he does find that Crobat. So he's going to put down the Peak, and then he put down the Crobat, draw five cards. And he does find Air Balloon, so he'll be putting that down on the Raichu, putting his second energy down on the Peak Rum. And maybe he pops the Tapu Coco right now. We will see. Uh, he's going to research out, so that is definitely the best play for him. He definitely will be able to get that top Coco off. And uh, Gabe, I'll go see. Okay. So Gabe uh, Gabe sees the running on the wall here. Uh, he didn't send that, so I guess he's going to wait it out. But uh, yeah, definitely not. And definitely want to be a scoop there. Uh, very happens very, very often. Um, but uh, you know what? Uh, sometimes, you know, it just goes like that. It's uh, Luckily, it's best of three here in the finals. So, you know, he's going to be able to run it back. Uh, hopefully, you know, he gets a little bit of a better luck, a uh, better game here. And... Uh, you know, hopefully we don't uh, we don't see the everything go so unfortunate. Um, I don't know what uh, Gabe's sending there. Oh, I think he said good luck. So, you know, keeping his spirits high, it's always good. Uh, and uh, it looks like uh, Angel will be going first here, and that's probably pretty smart. So he starts off with a Sinistee. Uh, this hand is a little bit more um, manageable, I would say. You have some energies in hand. Uh, you got some Pokemon Search. You do have the Poltegeist. Um, and... Uh, you know, most of the time, Angel won't be able to attack turn one unless he sort of Coco's on a Bolton, and he does start with Coco there. But, um, you know, it's pretty... Obviously, he's going first, so he can't attack. But you know what? On his second turn, he, he probably won't be able to attack. I mean, Gabe has a pretty decent hand. Again, discarding this Poltegeist isn't necessarily, like, you know, always what you want to do. But if you have to just discard one, um, you know, it's not the end of the world. Uh, the two energies also discarding those might be a little bit tough as well. So we'll see what uh, Gabe decides to do with his hand. It's definitely not the best hand in the world, but definitely better than his last game, I would think. Um, we're going to see that Angel there. He does start with the Coco, but, you know, he puts down a Peak, attaches, and puts down a, a Bolton and attaches. Um, so, you know, nothing too, too eventful yet. We're going to see a Great Ball. Uh, he's going to find, uh, okay, so he found um, a Dedene, a Mr. Rhyme, and a Bunnelby here. And he just researches out while attaches to the Bunnelby. That's clutch uh, for him. Uh, we're going to see an air balloon uh, and a great ball. Okay, so he pops the other great ball. Does find uh, a Pulte guy, a bundle bee, and a Mew. Kind of deciding which one he thinks he should be grabbing here. Uh, I think by grabbing the uh, the bundle bee was pretty smart. Um, one of these is probably going to have to go down. You definitely don't want that uh, that Sinistee to go down because, um, you know, of course, getting into the Pulte guys, this is going to be really important. He great catchers away a couple mad party Pokemon and another energy. He's going to find the Dedene, and will he just Dedene out this turn? He's playing very fast pace here. Very aggressive. I think Mad Party definitely, um, it's almost like controlled chaos, right? You really want to get uh, get things moving really quick. You want to get things in the discard pile really quick. It's almost kind of similar to Blounds in a way, uh, but uh, maybe a little bit more fast-paced when it comes to discarding. Um, he's deciding whether I pop the, uh, the whether to uh, play the uh, Ordinary Rod. You know, and he does. I think he, he decides to just grab that Sinistee back, or sorry, the Pulte guys back. 
because he knows he knows that it's going to be uh, really important in the long run. I think that was actually a really smart play. He gets the second Cincy down on the board, uh, and again, I think that's smart as well. Um, and now, and now he's in a pretty interesting position here because he will be able to get some, you know, a little bit of a damage off with this uh, this bundle be here. I think he's doing like sixty or eighty at this point. Not bad at all uh, for turn one. You know, it could be better, but uh, you know, damage is damage. Eighty damage there, turn one there for Gabe is definitely not bad at all. Um, and next turn, hopefully he'll be able to evolve in a few synesties. We see a hammer come out. I don't know if that's necessarily. Yeah. So, I mean, it looks like Angel might not be able to get an attack off this turn. So that uh, that hammers was actually probably probably pretty clutch. Who knows? Uh, we will see. Both players are playing at a very fast pace here. And again, like I said, both players are very talented and no stranger to the uh, the grand finals here at Chill Series. Um, so we're going to see him put down a second peak rum. And he's going to research out. And he gets rid of a boss, tag hall, and an energy. I think that's what I saw there, and he draws a fresh seven new cards. Gabe does have a pretty good hand right now. Uh, definitely should be able to draw into some 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 good stuff here next turn and, and, and make some good stuff happen. So, you know, we will see. Um, I think getting a KO on this peak definitely isn't uh, a crazy thing to assume. I think really he has it in reach for sure for Gabe. One energy on the peak as well, so you really got to play this smart. Leaving this peak in the active spot is not ideal, I think, for Angel. Um, but you know what? It might be hard for him not to, right? He's got to find that air balloon. Um, maybe find something else to sort of draw into. And we're going to see... Um, we're going to see a Dedenne. Oh, and he doesn't even use the effect. He's just pu he's just playing it down. Uh, wow. That's very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So we are going to see Tapu Koko come off. He's going to put two on the peak. Put another one on the Bolton. Um, and now he's going to be able to air balloon into the Bolton. Okay, and then we do get an attack there. So I think that was actually a pretty good play from Angel. Um, I'm not sure exactly why he played down the 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 Dedenne. I guess just sort of have something like as a pivot because he just didn't have a card that had um you know multiple or a low retreat cost for their balloons there. So I guess you know he did what he had to do and and sometimes you know that is the best play. So Gabe here, he's gonna be able to grab Evolution Incense or so grab Poltergeist with Evolution Incense. Um, and he's got two of them on the board here, right? So he can technically. Um, he has another Evolution Incense, so he should be able to evolve into both of them. He has Bunnelby, which he can use as an attacker. Um, and he does have uh, a tool scrapper as well, so we'll see. Okay, so he finds another Poltergeist with Great Ball. Um, I think that's also the play. I think you just start evolving. Uh, with this Evolution Incense and this Great Ball, you can grab Mad Party Pokemon. And then, uh, you know, Poltergeist, of course, is going to help you discard some other ones and, and draw some more cards off of that. So, um, definitely not in a bad spot. And again, he can grab another Dedenne with this, uh, this Quick Ball. So he has a lot of options right now. I think you uh, Evolution Incense for probably Mr. Rhyme. And you are just going to go ahead and uh, tea break it away. Debating, you know, what kind of a sequence does he want to go for here? What's the correct order in which to play his cards? Um, and, of course, Gabe, you know, he knows what he's doing. So he's like, do I grab a Bunnelby or do I just go ahead and Dedenne this out? I think at this point, you bench the Bunnelby and you just you, know, you just play Dedenne. And play Dedenne. Tool Scrappering away in air, uh, their air balloon. I think it's smart. Why not? You're going to discard the card anyway. So, you know, yeah, I think putting down that Bunnelby is probably pretty smart. You already have two in the discard pile. Oh, and he doesn't, so he's just getting that away. So I think he's probably doing the math in his head, right? I guess what you know, what does he need to do uh, to get the correct amount of KOs here? He can attack with Poltergeist. Um, I'm not sure exactly if he'll be able to hit the mark on damage here. Oh, he might be um, after drawing that Mr. Rhyme. He does sell Pal Pad as well, so he can Pal Pad to find Giovanni's Exile. Having two Dedenes on the bench right now is not probably the best thing that you want. You definitely want to get those. Discarded with Giovanni's Exile gives you a lot more room uh, to, to play into the late game, a lot more time. Um, we're going to see, uh, so yeah, so he'll attach an energy to the um, to the bench one here, um, and then he'll switch in. Conserving that air balloon, we're going to see a Gray Catcher, actually, and he's going to go ahead and discard Mr. Rhyme and maybe Mew. So he's going to discard the Rhyme and... You know, and I don't really know if you need the Mew, right? Because you're going for a KO on this other peak, and I just don't know if he's going to have sort of the... If Angel will have uh, the time he needs to sort of set up. Uh, so he pal pads. I, I, I honestly missed what he just pal padded there. Um, and we're going to go see a uh, uh, an attack here from Poltegeist, and he's doing 180 now. Um, and that's a nice three prize cards for Gabe. He finds a Dedenne, another Dedenne, and a Research. So actually a pretty solid hand here for Gabe, and uh, a hand that I definitely like to see. But Giovanni's XL, you know, definitely important. Um, again, uh, you know, Angel, I guess technically he could be doing some boss boss game shenanigans, uh, but for the most part, I think that Gabe is definitely in a good spot here. Um, there's another three prizer down on Angel's bench. 
Um, we do see a boss's orders. Is that going to be okay? So it's in the Dene, but he's not going to be able to attack, so he is going to electrify. Uh, however, you know, I think Gabe does have enough things in deck to to switch out of there. So this was a pretty interesting play. He is going to set three energies up on that peak, um, and then we see another Sinisty. Um, I guess this is a kind of a peculiar situation here, right? Like, what you know, what do you kind of go for? And uh, I think if I'm him, I, I honestly just uh, perhaps research. But I guess maybe Dedenning and try to find Giovanni's exile is probably better. So I think that's probably the play that he will go for. He could bench Mew. He does bench Mew. Um, and he elects to go for research. I think putting down a third Dedenne might, you know, might come back to, to bite you in the butt. Um, but uh, Giovanni's exile is in his deck. So if he draws into it, probably not a big deal. So he's going to Dedenne out, draw three cards. Does find Air Balloon. But he does not have any uh, Giovanni's exile. However, he can't tea break. He can't tea break away the Mr. Rhyme. And he will. All right, he's going to quick ball it away, actually. Finds another one, and now UT break. Wow, okay, so very smart indeed. Do we find Giovanni's exile? Oh, we do. Wow, that is very good. Uh, very, very good indeed. So he's going to be able to retreat out into a, into a, um, a Bolte Geist for an attack here. Um, oh, and he can T break again. Oh, my. Here we go. Here we go, man. This is where Mad Party really sort of starts to shine, right? Um, mid to late game, you know, this sort of fast pace. A lot of decks can't really keep up with Mad Party, and it's very impressive. Um, kind of considering what's the proper sequence here, what cards do he wants to, you know, play first. He's going to Giovanni's Exile first, get rid of those Dedenne's, clear up some board space. This turn, perhaps, you know, he might go for a Crobat. Um, and uh, kind of thinking, do I T-break away this Bundle B? Do I bench it? Do I Crobat before any of that, after any of that? You know, what's the correct play for me right now? Because, um, of course, you know, he wants to, I think, get... Um, I think he's got the damage already. I don't know if he really needs to discard this Bunnelby. Um, and I think you might want to bench it. So we'll see. <laughs> he does have the Crow out as well. So it's a it's just an interesting situation here for Mad Party. Again, it's not a deck that I'm particularly super useful with. Or, um, you know, knowledgeable on. So it's always fun to just sort of see, you know, how, uh, how these great players do with these decks. And we see a boss's order. So that might be uh, the running on the wall here for Angel. We'll see what he has in the, that four-card hand. We see a Hammers. Ooh, and that is a head. So now Gabe is forced to dig, right? He's forced to dig for a Mad Party Pokemon. But I believe he's doing enough damage. All he needs to find is energy. And I think he has two left in deck. He's got five in the discard pile. And he has eight cards in his deck as well. So I think, um, you know, you T-break, you Crobat, maybe you Research, you'll find it. Um, and I think that this is going to be um, a win in the end here for Gabe. A nice little comeback win, bringing this to a game three. You know, I don't want to talk too soon, but I, I don't really know exactly what Angel can do at this point. It looks like Gabe is just kind of, you know, prepping to one-shot everything on Angel's bench. Or on his board, rather. But you know what? Uh, I think this matchup's kind of interesting to watch. I don't want to say that Mad Party is favored, um, but, you know, it's definitely really close. And, and I don't know if people really have too much experience with this matchup, so... Um, you know, if you're watching this, thank you so much, but, uh, you know, hopefully you're learning something because, you know, I know for me, um, I do know a little bit about Pete, but I don't know too much about Mad Party. So this is definitely very interesting to see. He benches the Mewtwo. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I'm not sure exactly why. Okay. So he's going to research out, go down to 15 cards in deck. We do see a chaotic swell. So, okay. <laughs> something now angels just playing cards, hoping to figure something out on the fly. Um, really thinking right now, I think he might know, right, that he's in a bit of a tough position. So, you know, applaud to both players for this game. Uh, really kind of digging themselves out of some weird positions here. So he is just going to air balloon and, and, and research, or sorry, and, and retreat into this choo-choo. And I don't think the game really has a problem with this. I think he has enough, uh, as long as he finds an energy, he's doing enough damage to KO this thing as well. So, you know, we're going to see what the proper sequence is. He's going to quick ball. He finds an Oranguru. Okay, um, he's going to research them all the way, and he does find the energy, and, and uh, I don't see how, uh, yeah, 260 on the dot. And there it goes, game uh, game two goes to Gabe, and we're going to get right into Gabe number three. All right, here we are, game number three, guys, so... Uh, after a very bad start uh, for Gabe on game one there, kind of, uh, you know, dead drawing, breaking there uh, at the at the beginning of this uh, this set. It comes back, wins game two in a, in a very nice place, a very nice collection of plays from Gabe. And, 
We're going to go into game three. All the money's on the line. I think both players here might even be solidified for the Invitational at this point. Um, but we'll see. You know, we'll see uh, what what happens in the end. I think uh, both of these players deserve to be here. Um, and again, it's super cool to see Mad Party come out and get the dub. Uh, we're going to see a, a very nice hand for game here to start. We see a Bunnel B. We get the Dedenne in the active spot. Not something that you t typically want to have on your board, but for the most part, um, you know, it's something that you can kind of let just get KO'd, right? Um, and you don't really mind too much. Um, he puts the Bunnel B down on the board. So, yeah, Gabe's doing okay. Uh, Angel here, he discards the Mewtwo, gets the Bolt sent out in the active spot. Going second, not bad, gets the energy, and he will electrify to another peak and another Bolt. And so, uh, definitely a good start for Angel as well. I think getting a lot of Pokemon on the boards, uh, you know, spreading this energy out, it's going to be a good move for him. Oh, and we see a double Dedenne. Uh, not necessarily something that you want to see, uh, for sure. Um, getting rid of one of those Dedennes might hurt him in the long run. And there's three Sinisties. Uh, wow, okay. Um, so I think, yeah, you bench a couple of these babies, and, and then, uh, man, I, you know, this is tough. Um, it's looking like a turn where you might just have to have to pass and hope that he doesn't have boss i think but yeah it's definitely very interesting uh we're gonna see an evolution incense he grabs it um and uh does he retreat and attack i don't think he do i think he just passed hope he doesn't have the boss so a uh, very peculiar hand there to draw from uh from gabe and angel here he's gonna play hammers he whiffs on that gets little tails we do see a cherish ball come out he will find his second picaron and he puts that down on the bench, attaches to the Bolton. We're going to see a switch, and we are going to see perhaps a KO from this Bolton. Maybe another Electrify, but I would doubt it. Um, but again, this uh, this Dedenne getting attacked, getting knocked out, isn't the end of the world. However, Angel can still boss his orders right now. He still hasn't played a supporter, and, and this uh, is something I'd be a little bit scared of if I was Gabe. Um, but, you know, next turn he can evolve into Poltegeist. He can Dedenne again. Um, you know, see what he top decks. He's got energy on that Bunnelby. So if we don't see a boss here and a KO on the Bunnelby, ooh, okay, well, I spoke too soon. So things are looking a little bit less good for Gabe at this point. Um, but, I, you know, he still has room to, to come back here. Uh, he does have this Dedenne. Um, the single prize went down on his bench, which just isn't really something that you want to have, like, on your bench at all times. We are going to be able to evolve into Poltegeist here. He can T-break away this, uh, you know, this Mr. Rhyme, which, of course, you know, you get to draw some extra cards here. And then he can Dedenne out. Um, perhaps even Great Catcher at the same time. So it all depends on how many you know Pokemon, how many Mad Partiers he gets in his discard pile, and how much damage he's really doing this turn. Um, of course, he does have to find energy, and he does have to sort of get his board state rolling. So he's thinking about his sequencing yet again, uh, thinking about what's the correct series of cards to play. I think playing maybe Dedenne right here could be smart, but I think you T break first. I, I don't. I don't know exactly. I'm not a Mad Party player, um, but uh, I guess if I was playing. Which, this doesn't mean much. I probably would have T-break first, but you know what? Again, like I said, I don't play Mad Party. We are going to see an E-Radar, and he's going to get rid of those guys. Grabs his last Dedenne. He's going to put that down. And he's going to draw some cards. So we see Bunnelby here. We see Giovanni's Exile. So that could be, could be pretty good. Uh, for sure. And an energy, so he can't get an attack off this turn. I don't know if he's going to be doing enough damage to KO this. Uh... Wow. Yeah. This is tough. Um, hmm. you might have to Giovanni's Exile away this Sedene with the Air Balloon to do enough damage. I don't know exactly. I, oh, he's not doing nearly enough to kill this Bolton right now. I think he's doing like 80 damage. Uh, so he's going to retreat out. I think you go into Bunnelby. We're going to T-break away that Sedene. We draw a couple more, but you know what? I think you, you really just have to go for that Exile this turn. You really don't want to get this Sedene KO'd. So we're going to get those babies off the bench, um, and we're going to see a Mad Party come down. Doing 80 damage. Not ideal. This thing will be getting knocked out next turn. But you know what? He can bench that under Bunnelby. Um, he can research out um, and perhaps, you know, just get, get something really rolling after this next turn. It's been kind of a slow start for Gabe, and that's not something you necessarily want to see when you're playing Mad Party. Angel here, he puts the speed energy down on his second peak. Rum has a very large hand at this point um, and most likely has a lot of things that uh, will be very useful to him. All right, and he's actually just electing go to go and get a KO on this Bunnelby. Uh, he's going to go down to four prizes. Leaves Gabe with really not too many options, but he, again, you know, he does have this pivot here and did any, which is nice. We do see another air balloon. He can bench this Bunnelby. Uh, he can tea break, research out. You know, it's it's not like the end of the world, I guess, right now for Gabe. Still plenty of options, um, but 
you know, he really needs to get something moving here soon, I think, or else it's just going to end up being kind of a, you know, kind of a dull little game here. We're going to research out, get a fresh seven. Uh, we see a couple mad partiers, so now he gets uh, two Pulthy guys down, and he will be able to find another Mr. Rhyme. And, uh, you know, this could sort of be the sequence that he needs here. This could be kind of the sequence that he needs. Again, having this Dedenne in the active spot is just not great because it's just another Pokemon that you will not be able to... Uh... Okay, so he puts a Research and a Boss back in deck. We're going to see one Tea Break. Okay, draws a couple Quick Balls. We're going to see another Tea Break. And draws a Quick Ball and a Research. Okay, uh, a very interesting hand, uh, yet again, for uh, for Gabe here. I He'll be able to get a KO on this Bolton, but... It's just so it's just a very very interesting game here. Um okay, so we're going to see him research. Or sorry, we're going to see him air balloon and retreat into this pulthy guy style. Uh, we're going to we have quick balls here on the bench. We've got uh, some air balloon. We got an air balloon research boss. Does he just attack? I think he's the, he's doing enough to KO it. Um and he does. Yeah, so he's going to save those quick balls perhaps for next turn. I think he does have crowbat left in deck. Um never mind, it was in his prizes, but he draws into it. And there's another Pulte guy. So two prize cards that aren't necessarily terrible for him. Um, but for the most part, it's not like the best thing in the world to draw those cards. Uh, so we're going to see here Angel. He puts a third energy on his peak. Um, I don't know what he just played. I couldn't see it. Air Balloon on the Bolton. So Gabe needs two KOs. And Angel most likely needs four more KOs. But, you know, you never know. You never really know. Um, it's really all about getting those right, the right cards here for Gabe. Slowly running out of resources. Um, finding energies might be a bit tough, and this hand is not necessarily the most great hand in the world. Nothing really stands out to me. Angel here. Okay, so we're going to see a Marnie, actually. Wow. Um, no matter what, he's getting a KO on something on Gabe's board, but this Marnie might disrupt uh, Gabe's sort of flow here going into next turn. And this hand, well, I mean, it's it could be worse, I think. You know, it definitely could be worse. Um, we're going to see another peak there with three energy. So nice little 3-3 three, three split for Angel. Um, you know, you really just got to hope that he can't knock out one of these Pikaroms and, and then you're kind of in a little bit of a better position. I think Gabe goes all in at this point. Um, I wonder if he's kind of doing the math and kind of thinking, do I even have enough, like, resources here to get a KO on this peak? But even if you do, you need another KO and that's really, that's really kind of the kicker, right? <laughs> he's thinking, man, he's like, oh my gosh. It's coming down to the wire. He does grab that other Dedenne. We're going to tea break that thing away, I think. Draw a couple more. Um, there's a research. So he's actually going to boss and KO Dedenne. You know, actually, I think that might be a pretty good idea. Because if you can't guarantee a KO on this peak of this turn, I think you just play this boss um, and buy yourself another turn to set up and potentially get enough to KO this uh, this peak, right? So maybe that is the play. But again, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe it is. I think you play this boss, you KO, you probably just KO Bolton or Dedenne. Either way, um, or maybe he's not doing enough damage for the Bolton. But yeah, so you just boss up Dedenne, KO it, um, and then you can research out next turn, perhaps, per and just perhaps, you know, get what you need to get a KO on, on something else this turn. So, okay, so, um, all right. So he has no Mad Partiers left in deck, or no, I don't think so at this point, so... Rod, he really is, I think, looking to find Rod at this point. Um, but he's just going to be able to retreat into Bunnelby. Do you quick ball away this Bunnelby? I don't know. You might have to. I haven't done the math. He's clicking his quick discard pile very quickly. So he benches it. He's going to put an air balloon down on it. And I just don't know how much damage he's doing right now. Okay, so he is doing enough. Exactly 240. So this is very interesting. Um, again, you know, if he doesn't win this next turn... Um, or if Angel doesn't get something going really quick, Gabe should be able to win next turn. And that is uh, definitely very interesting. So I think Gabe's in a pretty good position. Uh, but again, he really needs to just draw into the right things, I think, right? So we will see. We will see. <laughs> Angel taking his time. He's just thinking. Uh, running through scenarios in his head. What's the best play, he's thinking? We're going to see an E-Radar. So 
And you know what? I think Angel is running Reset Stamp in his deck. Stamp to one might be very, very, very crucial for Gabe right now. Might be very, very crucial for Gabe. There it is. There's the Reset Stamp. So Gabe's going to go down to one card. All right, he's going to go down to one card, perhaps. Ooh, and it's Oranguru. Perhaps KOing that Dedenne was the better play. Um, then you only get stamped to two, which I guess is um, considerably better. Uh, twice as good, maybe. Uh, but yeah, uh, Angel here, that stamp to one, just really hoping to buy some time for a couple turns. Um, you know, I think he goes into peak, attacks, and then tries, right, after uh, this turn, next turn, to try to get that tag bolt for game. Because that Mew is gone. Um, or I think the Mew might be in the prizes. Is Mew in deck or is it in prizes? Man, I don't know. If, this, if Mew is that last one card that's prized, that is very, very, very unfortunate for uh, Gabe here in his Mad Party list. Uh, so we're going to see, though. So this stamp to one, again, Gabe can play Guru. He can search for another card. He can top deck. He can do a lot of things right now, potentially. Um, and I think most cards in his deck are cards that he needs or cards that he could could use, right? I think he's got, like, four quick balls left in deck. He's got a couple energies. Just needs to top deck something. Just needs to draw something good here. So we will see. You know, we're going to see here. Okay, so there's the, the top of Coco. So a Tag Bolt is coming next turn, and you really need to be prepared for that. Um, and it might even come this turn. If it comes this turn, then that's going to be actually pretty unfortunate, I think. Pretty unfortunate for game. Excuse me. All right, let's see what's going on here. Come on, the suspense is too high. I want to see what's. I still want to see what happens. I want to see how this plays out. A hammer comes out. Okay. Sales. We're gonna see a. Uh, oh, here comes research. I don't believe he's playing E switch in his deck, so I think he needs another energy to attach this peak if he wants the tag bolt, because his tag switch is in the discard pile. Now that wouldn't be really helping him anyway. But yeah, it's it's um. Yeah, I mean this. He says, amen, praying to the gods as he attacks this bundle beer, hoping that Gabe does not have does not have the goods going into next turn. <laughs> the mind games are hot here. He top decks boss. Oh, no. He's going to have to Orn Guru. Does he primate something? Does he find anything off primate as an energy? Oh, it's a quick ball. That's, that's I think, going to be it. I think that's game. I, I do, because uh, I believe Angel's got energy in hand. He's going to have to just go ahead and pass his turn. And, uh, wow. Man. Could Stamp to 1 not be a lie, man? I don't think it is. I think Stamp to 1 is real. And I think it uh, might have just gotten Angel to win here against Gabe and his Mad Party list. Angel definitely has energy in hand. If not, he's got a way to find it, because he's got one left in deck. All that good stuff. Uh, just, you hate to see it. Uh, ban reset stamp guys. It's an awful card. I know. I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, no, that's definitely like the, that's definitely the game. I mean, I, I, I can't imagine that angel doesn't have what he needs in hand next turn. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be the writing on the wall. There it is. The six energy. So, wow. Wow, man. Stamp to one gets angel a random bar to win. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to both players for making grand finals. Both of them made the invitational after great performances this whole season. Um, as well as just sort of, you know, here at Chill Series number 20. So big shout out to Angel Randabar for getting that win there. A uh, big shout out to Gabe Shumway for making his second finals. And uh, yeah, it's uh, that was a great game. Great game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, click subscribe. You know, if you want to get notified for future videos, hit the like button, you know, to support me and in, in, in the whole Chill TCG community. And uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at the top 16 deck lists for Chill Series 20. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.